new study determines animals are fleeing black neighborhoods because of systemic racism. Now, a new study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences claims that animals are fleeing black neighborhoods in favor of predominantly white neighborhoods. The reason? Systemic racism, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> and see, this is what your taxpayer money is being spent on. This is enough to turn anybody anti-science. If this is what science is in current year, we could do without it. All right, authors of the study, uh, Chloe Schmidt, uh, definitely a, a black woman, right? And Colin Garraway, a black dude for sure, from the University of Manitoba, Winnipeg, right? Systemic racism alters the dem demography of urban wildlife populations in ways that generally limit population sizes and negatively affect their chances of persistence. The study goes on to explain exactly how racism contributes to the decrease in uh, wildlife diversity. <laughs> By actively choosing to develop certain areas, forcing minorities to live in undesirable areas, uh, preferentially investing in greening majority white neighborhoods or placing industrial facilities near communities of color, systemic racism contributes to the structure of the urban landscape, which in turn shapes wildlife demography in shitties. Okay, if they do invest in greening up black neighborhoods... You accuse them of gentrification. If they don't, it's uh, it's systemic racism. Okay, makes perfect sense, right? If you're if you're crazy, yeah, classic case of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, that that is this situation in a nutshell, man. If they did actually invest in making these neighborhoods better, they scream gentrification. If they don't, then why are you only making the white neighborhoods better, racist? There's literally nothing you can do. Like no, no matter what you do, they're gonna re. So the the only solution is to not care. Just just let them re. D don't don't pay them any mind. Just ignore them. So, ah yes, the hood is getting passed over because the developers hate black people, not because the lawless behavior that's prevalent in such areas makes investments in those areas unsound. Yeah, but so. After like the seventh time your business gets burned down in a burn loot murder riot, th that might convince you to leave, right? Just, just maybe. Right, there is the same type of people that tell you that hard work, discipline, and belief in objective truth is white supremacy. Yeah. And also, if they develop the, the hood, then uh, that's gentrification. Now, essentially, they claim that urban development, redlining, and systemic racism causes animals to move on to greener pastures rather than remain in an urban wasteland. And who could blame them? I know I, I wouldn't blame them. Now, but then the animals themselves compound their racism by moving away, stupid racist animals, causing urban communities to become more depressed and unhealthy because they live in said urban wasteland. The results are concerning because urban biodiversity is important for human mental health and physical well-being, and disparities uh, in access to nature build on existing healthy environmental wait, disamenities in predominantly non-white neighborhoods. Now, unfortunately, uh, it's much harder for people to move out of decaying urban war zones than it is for squirrels or raccoons to migrate. Sorry, wanting to be happy is racist. You're right. You're absolutely right. By current year definitions, it is. They're justifying their paychecks at this point. Hey, why are we paying you a six-figure salary? Oh, I'll just do a I'll just do a research paper on how animals are racist. Yeah. That'll do it.